Hello, in this short video I will demonstrate how to batch export mass properties from your assembly in Excel report. Out of the box mass properties tool in SOLIDWORKS allows to extract information about your components or assembly. This includes but not limited to center of mass, moment of inertia, axis of inertia, volume, mass, etc. You can calculate this data for the complete assembly or selected set of components. It is also possible to calculate this information relative to the coordinate systems in your assembly. So in this case, it is calculated relative to coordinate system which is placed in the center of gravity of this assembly. There is, however, no way to export this information into easy-to-use report, such as Excel spreadsheet. And you can only read this information for one component or set of components at a time, so there is no way to batch export. CAD Plus solves this issue and enables functionality to batch export your components' mass properties into Excel report. You can select components you want to export, and you can specify the scope, what data should be generated in the Excel report. Let's select a few more options from the scope and click green tick to initiate exporting of this information. You will need to specify the path to your Excel file and give it some name. The process will only take a few seconds and once completed we can open generated Excel report. So as you can see, we have selected three components and all the information has been output to this Excel report. Similar to out-of-the-box mass properties tool, you can use coordinate system to calculate the relative data of your mass properties. Let's open export mass properties property manager page. And now I'm just going to export all components from this assembly. I'm also going to check relative to and select coordinate system. Let me modify the scope and I'm just going to include surface volume and mass area and leave moment of inertia. Let's click green tick and specify a new name for our report Excel file. Let's open this report. And as you can see, all of the components, including sub-assemblies, have been listed in this report and the requested data is displayed. Thank you for watching this video.